What's going on guys? Sharp Try here. Hope you guys having a great day so far. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about how to have the best chance at having the killer let you escape, whether it's through the hatch or the exit gate. No matter how hard you try at the end of the trial when you're the last one remaining, sometimes the killer will just never let you escape. But if you do certain things like the tips I'm going to mention in this video, it can greatly increase the chances of persuading the killer into actually giving you hatch or giving you the exit gate and actually escaping the trial. Before we get into the tips, I just want to mention that before you do any any of these always try your best in finding hatch or opening an exit gate before the killer even finds you try and best in escaping on your own don't just give up and try and find the killer right when the killer closes hatch for example try your best because if you play it smart even if the killer does close the hatch and you pick the good at exit gate if you play your cards right you'll have plenty of time to open the exit gate and actually escape on your own so yeah without further ado let's get right into the video the first tip i have is don't start a chase if you get found by the killer the easiest way of making sure that killer is never letting you escape is to start a chase with them so if there's absolutely zero chance that you're gonna escape and the killer sees you for example if the killer closes the hatch and you're at an exit gate that you haven't even started to open in that case don't start a chase because it's hopeless and you're never gonna get anything out of it so instead walk up to the killer or crouch in place and start spinning in circles just be super exposed and defenseless and if you do this maybe the killer will let you open the exit gate you're at or lead you to the exit gate or the hatch coming in at number two if you have an item you can offer the killer a gift so as I said before if you have no chance of escaping and the killer does find you and it seems like they're about to kill you you can face them and drop the item on the ground in front of you facing the killer and that signifies that you're giving the killer a gift or an offering that hey I'm gonna drop this item in the trial and in exchange you can spare my life it surprisingly works with a lot of killers so if you drop an item in front of them and you're at an exit gate they'll just stand there and they'll let you open the exit gate and leave it's kind of just a little trade for your life, which is pretty funny, and a lot of killers actually do respect that. So if you have an item, you can definitely try this as well. Coming in at number three, if the killer downs you or you're the last survivor alive and everybody was in the dying state and you just happen to still be in the dying state, spin in circles instead of crawling away from the killer. Obviously, if you know where the hatch location is and the killer doesn't know where you're lying at, crawl to the hatch and maybe you'll get a really lucky escape. But if you don't have any idea where the hatch is or you know the killer knows where you are, spin in circles when you you see the killer coming at you and that just signifies that you're not trying to escape anymore and that hey if he sees you spinning maybe he'll just lead you to hatch if it's open or lead you to an exit gate last but certainly not least the most important tip of this video coming in at number four do not wiggle ever if the killer picks you up wiggling when you get picked up can seal the deal on whether you're going to escape or not personally if i'm playing killer and i pick up the last survivor and they start wiggling i definitely do not want that survivor escaping i'm going to go hook them asap even if I came into it thinking, hey, I'm going to give this guy hatch. If they wiggle, I'm not going to do that whatsoever because that just pisses me off. And I know it pisses off a lot of killers as well. With that being said, if you do get picked up, don't wiggle ever. Even if the killer does lead you to hatch or leads you to an exit gate, don't wiggle. Wait for them to drop you because if you wiggle even once, maybe they'll just click in the killer's head to, okay, I'm just going to go kill them. Or they're testing you in that if they do wiggle over hatch, they're just going to walk right past it and bait you. So wait till the killer drops you so that you can just go through the hatch or if they drop you at an exit gate they can drop you and then they can open the exit gate and then you can just crawl away just a closing thought this is kind of a bonus tip it doesn't really count as a tip in your head if you've played killer before try and think of the eyes of the killer and what you would want the survivor to do if you were playing killer the killer will only want to let you escape if it's on their own terms as i just said in the previous tip if i'm picking up a survivor and they start wiggling i'm automatically going to go hook them so if you start wiggling that is not on their own terms they want to give you hatch or give you that exit gate they don't want you to wiggle out and actually try and escape without the killer's help think in the killer's point of view and don't do stuff to piss them off don't do things on your own only do things that the killer is letting you do and kind of just let the killer control your next moves and kind of just follow their orders and be defenseless and don't act up or anything like that and that will give you the best chance of persuading the killer to be on your side and give you that escape so yeah guys those were the tips on having the greatest chance at letting the killer give you an escape let me know in the comments if these tips helped you out and also comment below the funniest story you have about giving a survivor an escape or the killer giving you an escape at the end of the game i'd really like to see those stories so if you have a really funny story about that comment it below so yeah guys that's been the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and subscribe if you're new this has been sharp shot and i will see you guys in the next video